Hello, brothers and sisters in YouTube family. Hope you guys are being blessed. What wonderful messages and confirmation the Lord has given to us over and over again that He is so faithful to His word, that what He said He will do, and His plans and promises will come to pass. We have to be very careful, Heart Dwellers family, that we don't get engrossed in the news and even alternative news that is condescending, degrading, and judges the souls of those who they feel are bad or wicked. You must remember that it's God who judges the intentions of the heart, and when we decide to be a judge, we always judge an error. I've seen the title of many videos disrespecting President Trump and Biden as well. I've seen alternative news titles and videos that smear and tear to shreds those of the deep state and their families based upon the actions they've committed. Also, when the Chinese Communist Party is mentioned as well. We must remember Jesus told Mother Claire that many of those who we call wicked, sick, or evil were raised that way. The motives of their heart are to do good for our nation, and they think this is the best possible means to do that. They don't take in consideration God because they were brought up not to. So they think killing for the greater good of the masses is better than everyone dying and being destroyed. As heart dwellers and brides of Christ, it's important that we must not see any one person or group as the enemy. The real enemy is Satan, sin, and our flesh. That is the enemy we must fight. And these precious souls who are lost must be prayed for with a sincere and compassionate heart of contrition to Jesus because he loves them. They are all his children and souls created from his heart, whom he loves and grieves over greatly. I share all of this with you because after receiving the message about Joe Biden being Absalom, I meditate on the outcome of the battle and how Absalom died from the conspiracy and the snarl that he set up for his father. I found myself before Jesus in the Eucharist and looking at a crucifix of Jesus suffering on the cross. And just as David cried out, Oh my son, Absalom, my son, Absalom, my son, I then saw Jesus crying out, Oh, my son Biden, my son Biden, oh, my son, as he was twisting himself on the cross, and I knew the Father's heart was torn into pieces. I began to cry as I felt the Lord's anguish and tenderness he had for his son, Joe Biden, despite what people say about him. I then saw President Trump and President Joe Biden on stage as they were going at it on stage during the debate. Then all of a sudden, in an instant, they were both transformed into children in adult suits that were too big for them. They were no longer going at it, but I sensed as children, they would have even become great friends. Then I saw the Chinese Communist Army getting ready for war, as soldiers were busy in preparation. Then in an instant, all the soldiers were transformed into children in adult soldier suits. They looked so cute. As some of the children began to look up and wonder at the sky, as children do. Some began to play around as they fidgeted out the clothes. Others began to play with each other, wearing one another as hats and chasing one another. I was overwhelmed as I realized the Father allowed me to enter into his heart and see souls from his eyes, his eyes of love, because we are all mere children, not knowing what we're doing, and we're never created to kill, judge, and hate each other. But sin has done that. I cried as tears streamed down my eyes, seeing how precious these children were and how sin had twisted them into having such wicked natures. But that wasn't the Lord's intention for them. I felt such great pity, sorrow, and compassion for them as I began to ask Jesus to please have mercy upon them. Please have mercy upon our enemies. Forgive them, Father, because they do not know what they do. Remember that we too are children, and it's only by the Lord's grace that he gave us to a decent family, birth us in a nation that is free, and led us to his son, that we may have salvation. If it wasn't for the Lord's grace and a heartbeat, we could easily be worse off and prone to the most despicable things if he had not been holding us in the palm of his hands. He saved us so we can pray and live our lives for the salvation of others. So for those who have been struggling to love Joe Biden, the members of the deep state, and other nations we consider to be enemies. I hope that gives you the Father's perspective and his heart. Let's love our enemies. Do good to those who hate us. Bless those who curse us. Pray for those who mistreat us. And if someone's to slap us on one cheek, we should then turn to them the other also. 
If someone takes our coat, we should not withhold from them our shirt. We should give to everyone who acts, and if anyone takes what belongs to us, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to us. Let us pray. Pray for Joe Biden, that of his family, salvation, and conversion. Pray that his heart would be brought to repentance and contrition. Pray for the souls even now as casualties during the battle. Pray the Lord in his mercy will grant even the worst of sinners conversion, even at the last moment of their death. That the Lord's light would invade the heart of the president and the citizens. Pray for all those supporting and approving of the Communist Party would be saved and be convicted with the fear of the Lord. Pray rosy for these intentions of my beloved heart dwellers family, because it is through Blessed Mother's immaculate hands that the Lord's will and our nation will triumph. God bless you guys until the next message.